we dropped out of the B-29 at around 30,000 feet and fired up the uh, four chambers in the rocket motor. Actually, we flew about four minutes, a little better than four minutes, and in that time we covered a little over 80 miles. We attained a speed of a better than 1,600 miles an hour at a little better than 70,000 feet. Then we glided on back to the base and made a dead stick landing on the lake bed. We went around 1,600, a little better than 1,600 miles an hour in the airplane, uh, above 70,000 feet. Uh, the airplane has the capabilities of probably going much higher, and we probably will eventually get it there, but uh, it's rather expensive to build an airplane just to set records with. Actually, a, a pilot doesn't get any sensation of speed because you usually fly so high, and uh, well, you don't get any uh, particularly uh, bad knocks out of it. You get sort of a thrill of flying that fast. We came back and landed and uh, checked the airplane over. Naturally, an airplane does take a beating going that fast, but it was just like it was when we started. There wasn't any rivets popped or nothing broken. The biggest problem in uh, flying at uh, terrifically high speeds is actually heat. The airplane uh, may be designed of aluminum. When you reach a speed at, uh, where the aluminum starts losing its structural strength due to heat, then you go into an airplane with a stainless, skill, uh, stainless steel skin. As far as the pilot's concerned, there isn't much uh, of a limit as far as he's concerned, if you have him in a pressurized cockpit and in a cockpit that uh, can be cooled or keeping in, uh, keep him in an environment that is more or less comfortable, he can fly as high and as fast as the airplane can if you can uh, keep him protected.